Hello guys, welcome back to the Landers channel. Today we're doing our West Brom daily transfer video. Now I'm very sorry for the late upload, but I will go straight into this video. But if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We are trying to hit 400 subs very, very shortly. But yeah, guys, we'll go straight into this video. So there are two things to talk about today. Two very, very good things. Firstly, a little bit more on what's happening with that Krovinovic deal. Again, I'm not too sure I'm saying his name right. So if you guys, if I am saying it um, wrong, guys, please feel free to comment down below and yeah guys i'll go straight on to the next thing so the next thing we'll be talking about also is this kipri breakthrough some very very exciting news on that but yeah guys we'll go straight into this kipri news now if you guys don't know who he is he's a defender who used to be at the leicester academy and it does look like west brom will be closing in on a 900k transfer for him now i do think that is a big big steal um, and I will read out what an article does say. Now, it does say West Brom are looking to complete the signing of Wigan Athletic centre-back Cedric Kipre, um, Kipre this week in a 900k deal. The 23-year-old had an offer from Blackburn. Albion will discuss whether to pursue loan moves for Watford, Troy Deeney and Brighton Shane Duffy this week. West Ham and Celtic are also interested in Duffy. But yeah, guys, it is very interesting to see what happens. For me, I think 900k is a big, big win. Uh, Kipri looks like he could be a very good defender. He is still very young. And the thing about these defenders who are very cheap is it's not really uh, the biggest risk. He's 900k. And I do think he is a big steal because I think under Slavan Bilic, he can really flourish as a player. And he's also being exposed into this West Brom crowd uh, with some really good defenders, some really good attacking players. And I do think overall, Kipri would do well um, at West Brom. And there is a big breakthrough with the price. 900k, you're not really going to be losing a lot on that. And I think for a player like him joining the Premier League, it is time for him to join the Premier League. An ex-Leicester man, I can't say I know too much about him. Uh, but last season, he did turn out to be pretty good for Wigan. He played a lot of their games. And overall, I do think there has to be a reason why West Brom do want to sign him for only £900,000. Now, for me, I do think it is a pretty good deal. Uh, the contract, I'm not too sure about the contract, but he is a centre-back, if you guys don't know already. But yeah, guys, I will move straight on to this Krovinovic deal. Uh, again, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, so please feel free to correct me if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but it does look like um, West Brom are going to be closing in on another deal as well with Krovinovic. Um, this is according to reports that the deal will be done in just 72 hours. So that is very, very soon. And I will read out what an article does say. It does say that... Uh, according to Ebola, West Bromwich, Albion and Benefique are in advance talks over a new loan deal for attacking midfielder Filip Krovinovic. Uh, now, the former Croatian to under-21 international spent last season on loan at West Brom joining the Midlands club after winning the Portuguese title with Benefique in 2018-19 season. Krovinovic made 26 starts in the championship plus another 14 per appearances off the bench as the Baggies secured automatic promotion to the Premier League. 25-year-old um, posted three goals and two assists for Slavan Bilic's side. A report earlier from the Express and Star claimed West Brom wanted to sign Krovinovic on a permanent deal. However, they were put off by his £10 million price tag. Now West Brom want him back but are seemingly happy with another loan. Um, a baller claim a loan deal has been negotiated. Krovinovic is currently training alone, waiting for confirmation that the deal could be done in 72 hours. Uh, West Brom have been quiet in transfer market, adding just Mateus Pereira permanently. The Baggies know they have an upcoming fight for survival in their hands, while fellow promoted due uh, Leeds United and Fulham aren't afraid to spend big. Uh, Bilic is seemingly attempting to retain his top loan talents from last season first. Krovinovic offers plenty of vers versatility, capable of playing out wide or in the middle. Uh, West Brom fans will be hoping a deal can be concluded soon and that the club swiftly bring in more additions to beef up what appears to be a squad lacking in top quality. So it's going to be really hard for West Brom really to push with these amount of players that they have. There's no real squad depth I see. And coming from a different fan's perspective, it is going to be really hard if West Brom don't get these loan loans back. Um, and most, their and most of their team were really built up by these star loan players. 
And I think overall for West Brom really to push, they need to get these players back. And I do think bringing Philippe Kravinovic back would be a very smart decision as it does add squad depth. And adding any big player to the squad would be pretty good. And I do think Kravinovic would really fit into the Premier League very well. Um, he's won a lot of titles so far. And overall, I do think he could actually become a very good West Brom player. Um, and yeah, guys, I think for another loan is a pretty good deal. But yeah, guys, as I said, I'm very, very sorry for the late upload. Um, and yeah, guys, I'll see you soon later. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Bye.